Here with Ronnie Huckabee after the Bisons, 51-6 homecoming victory over southeastern Oklahoma and after two emotional games, coming back to homecoming, Coach, and your team took care of business, your emotional uh, thoughts after an emotional win today. I'm really pr proud of our guys, Billy. Uh, you know, you are exactly right. The last two weeks have been as uh, much of a roller coaster of emotions as I've ever been involved in. And, of course, we put a lot of energy into both of those games. Uh, it's, you know, you lose as much energy with a win as you do with a loss because you, you expend so much in your celebration. And, of course, last, last week, the feeling that we had after that game was, was tremendous. But I'm so proud of our guys because they did a great job of putting it behind them and turning around and getting ready for a, a good football team. A team that was on a four-game winning streak. And, uh, you know, we thought that we saw some things that we could take advantage of with, with SEO, but, you know, you never know what kind of emotion you're getting from your opponent and that type of thing. And, and I was really proud of our guys because we came out there and made a strong statement in the first quarter that, you know, hey, we were going to take care of business today. And you just look at the basically the turnover ratio and, and uh, I guess besides the petty fumble, we took pretty good care of the football and we turned them over, you know, a bunch of times. And, and, you know, especially in the red zone, our defense was really, really strong. Talk about right before half, uh, Southeastern scores to make it 27-6 uh, to six at that point, and then you go into the halftime locker room. They come out and get the onside kick. Right. Your team, though, gets the football back, and then you go 99 yards. Two big runs on that series. Romo had a 56-yard run, and then obviously the big touchdown run from Magalay. Yeah, 99 yards in three plays. Of course, that's a tribute to our passing game that we use so well. <laughs> uh, you know, it's great when you, you run an offense where you can get explosive plays regardless of how they come. And we, you know, we felt like uh, at halftime that we saw some things we could do in the second half. Tribute to our offensive coaches and our defensive coaches. Those guys went out there and stopped them, turned them over, uh, and, and you know it was a great day. And Darius Lane, the punt return, second longest in school history with 82-yard punt return. That was a tremendous punt return. Uh, you know he accelerated so well through the crease. And Darius is a powerful man. I mean he really is. He you know he hits. You see him uh, on the defensive side making big hits and that, that type of thing, but uh, yeah, he's also powerful with the ball in his hands. That was a tremendous return. He got some great blocking. He hit the crease. He wasn't going to go down, uh, and uh, that was a huge momentum boost. Even though we kind of had the game in control right then, that, that really, to me, was the final statement, hey, we're going to control this football game today. Obviously, 51 points. The offense will be talked about a lot. The special teams touched down for the second week in a row. But this defense did a great job against uh, a southeastern Oklahoma offense and had really come in on a roll. Well, that's one of the best offenses in our conference. And uh, you know, they did a great job of, of shutting them down. They, they pretty much made them one-dimensional. And when you do that, then you got a chance for pressure, sacks, and, and, and interceptions. And that's what they did. That's exactly what they did. It was a great play. So the, the home victory today, now you turn around, tough football game next week on right. the road to, to East Central. Right. And, you know, this team travels well. Uh, we we kind of like getting on that bus and, and, and going to a hotel, and it's just us. And we're going we're gonna to focus up and, and get ready to play a tough football team next Saturday. All right, congratulations, Ronnie Huckabee, on the homecoming victory today. Here with Olive Petty Magalay after the Bisons victorious today on homecoming, 51-6 over southeastern Oklahoma. And Olive Petty Magalay, what a game for you. Eight carries, uh, 111 yards officially, and one touchdown. Just uh, give us your initial thoughts after the victory today on homecoming. Man, I'm just so proud of us. Uh, we came out ready to ball. Coach told us don't underestimate any teams. and. We came out with the same intensity as we did last week, and it was just a good job all around. The whole line did tremendous, and we had some good blocking up front, opened the, opened the holes for a lot of running backs, and yeah, we all had a good game. How, how big was the, the first drive of the second half? You had the big run after Romo and had a big run after the football was backed up inside your own five-yard line and yeah. to score on that first series of the third quarter. How big was that touchdown? Yeah, it was really big. Um, we're always known to, to keep it rolling in the third quarter, so. It, it was good that we had our backs against the wall, but we kept pushing, and the O-line, they really got them on their heels, and we finished off strong. And now after back-to-back -back emotional games, a loss two weeks ago at home against Washita, the emotional win on the road against Henderson State last week, uh, what about the focus today coming in? Because you guys really looked like you had a lot of focus coming in today. Yeah, we was very focused. Um, it's, it's been a roller coaster ride. I've I, I really enjoyed this season, and 
we just got to keep taking it one game at a time and let the cards deal itself. And, and, yeah. and talk about the honor of being named the Coach John Proc homecoming most valuable player. Um, I, I couldn't do any of that without my team. It, it, it's a team award. I, the old linemen deserve it just as much as I do. And if, if it was good, it was a good win. <laughs> All right, congratulations and thanks for your time. All of Petty Magalay for the Bison's homecoming. Here with Dennis today. Buckner thanks. after the Bison's 51-6 victory on Saturday over southeastern Oklahoma. And uh, just your initial thoughts, Dennis, after a, a solid homecoming victory for the Bison's after back-to-back -back emotional games uh, two weeks ago against Washita Baptist and Henderson State came back and took care of things on homecoming day. Well, we just knew we had to go out. You know, stay focused. You know, defense kept their poise. Offense just kept rolling, and we knew it was a. Uh, you know, they was gonna come try to upset. So we just wanted to go out there and win a hidden battle. That's what we did. We went, go out, went out there, won a hidden battle, and just kept rolling. You forced a big fumble a week ago on the road down at Henderson State. You forced the fumble early in the football game uh, today to give your offense the football early. Just talk about that. Well, honestly. It's all, I give you uh, all the props to Coach Simmons. He just said, go home and visualize. And that's all I do. I go home and I toss and turn in the bed and I visualize just uh, making a big play. And that was a, I, that's what I did, just make it, made a big play. And, just. and also talk about the interception in the second half uh, where you went up and, and had to battle for that interception down at the, at the one yard line. See, that play, whoo. I just said I'm not getting I'm not getting mossed this time. Uh, Northwest Oklahoma, it was the same type of play where the ball was in the air and I, I lost that one. But this time I seen the ball, I said I'm getting it, you know. So I came down with it. I was happy for it. How excited is that locker room to win on homecoming? Oh, we're we're very excited. You know, I got a bunch of guys that you know that love to win, you know, love to fight, love to battle, you know. So right now we we're, we're going to take this win. And next week, we're going to get ready for uh, ECU. All right, Dennis Buckner, thank you for your time. Congratulations on the victory. Today. Jonathan thank Coleman you. with us after the Bison's 51-6 victory on homecoming Saturday at First Security Stadium. And just talk about your initial thoughts on a, on a big homecoming win coming home after an emotional victory on the road last week in Henderson State. I mean, Henderson, that was, that was a fun ball game. This one was a fun ball game, too. Every week, we, we work hard, and we got a mindset just to win. And, I mean, with this family, I, I know the guys will win. It's our real tight brotherhood, and I know we'll always have each other's back. Every victory is the same. I mean, we're trying to get to the ring, so. Talk about your performance today, five tackles, and obviously you were a big part of stopping the run against uh, Southeastern Oklahoma. I mean, I couldn't do it without my team. I give them the glory first, but I had a pretty decent game, five tackles. I feel like I could have had a lot more, but with the, I mean, the ones I didn't get my teammates got, I did miss a lot of tackles, so. We're, we're just one. How important was it to come out and, and get off to a good start and, and get the lead at halftime? Uh, very important. We have to have that right mindset. And we went out there and we stopped, um, we scored, kept scoring, kept scoring, gave up one touchdown, but we didn't let it break our break because we still kept the same mentality. And you talk about taking care of business and how special is it to come and, and, and win a game on homecoming uh, with such a big crowd here and, and the excitement after the win last week. Yeah, we love the crowd. We don't let the crowd get to us, though. We feed off the crowd, but, I mean, it's all about us. We, we love our fans, but at the end of the day, it's all about us.